Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at five new things that are added to Laravel version 9.21.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this when counted method to the JSON resource class. So let me go to the code over here and let me go to web.php whenever I open this it will show me this one home and here let me go inside here and let me just here return return we have user resource over here inside this HTTP resources here inside and now I'll just return new user resource and I'll just find user first and now if I just return over here then it is just returning everything but now let me remove this comment from here and here let us only return some of the things so let's say id is equals to this id similarly for the name also i'll do name like this and now there is this new thing added this when counted so let me add that over here let's say so we have this inside the user we have this posts relationship a user can have many posts and in the relationship if we write with count then we can get the count of the relationship so let's say we want to show here the posts count how many posts that the user has added so if i just write here like this so sorry not like this but if i just write post count and if i come over here and refresh the page then we'll see here null but we only want to show this key if there is this post count present then we can just do here like this and here we'll say when counted and now if i come here and refresh then it is not shown over here it will only show if i just go over here and i write here with count and here i'll say posts and now if i refresh then it will show it over here it is just like that when loaded so if i just show you over here like this this posts and i think you already know this when loaded and we'll say here posts it will only show this posts of the user if this post relationship is loaded so if i just refresh it is not showing me anything and if i come here and let's say here with and post and refresh then i'll see all the posts of that user so similar to that of the when loaded when counted is added the second thing that has been added is this enum casting to the request so let me just do that same thing over here let me just go over here and remove this from here and refresh here is a form and if i just go over here so inside this welcome so let me just add this hidden field type a user has a type if i just show you over here this type it is very small so i think you can barely see it but the type can be normal or admin so we can just create a enum for that but if i submit it like this okay and now if i come here in the save user controller and if i just do here dd and request type like this and now if i come here refresh the page fill the form and submit then i'll get the admin now there is this new thing enum request enum and here we'll pass the type and here the enum name so here we'll say user type enum class like this if i go inside here then i have this normal and admin enum if i do it like this then it will actually return the instance of the enum so if i just reload over here and resubmit then it will give us the enum type okay for example let's say we don't have this type over here then let me go back refresh the page fill the form and submit then it will actually return null the third thing that has been added is this introduction of the new fresh look of the artisan command i'll just show you one of the commands and other i'll show you from the pr so pa means php artisan migrate status then you can see here it looks much more better than previous if i just show you over here previously whenever i run that it would just show it like this but now it will show us like this similarly there are so many things like php artisan inspire it to it used to show it like this and now it is showing us like this similarly for the storage link it is much more cleaner because it is pr by nunu maduro 
the master of terminal in Laravel world. I'll be leaving the link of each and every pull request just below that like button. You can check everything or you can just upgrade to the latest Laravel version and check these commands. You can see here it used to look like this. This PSP artisan optimized clear. Now it will look like this. It is much more cleaner and very nice. The fourth thing that has been added is this command. There are so many commands added in this version. The next one is also another command. The command is this model so. So let me show you that also over here. I'll say PSP artisan model so user. I'll remove this station for now. So PSP artisan model so user. This user is the model name. And if I hit enter, then it will show me the user database table and then all the attributes of the user. And it will also show this whether it is casted or not. Similarly, the increments, whether it is fillable or not, it is unique or not, all the database related things and also the model related things and similarly all the relationship will be shown over here and the type of the relationship will also be shown and what is the related thing so here it is the article it will show that as well we can not only view it like this but we can also view it as a json so if i just do it like this then it will return this but you can just copy this thing and let me just open here in the vs code like this and let me format it and it will show it like this class database table and attributes the name type increments everything and here also will have relationship name type and related model these are the things that will be shown over here so let me remove this now let us look at the last and the fifth thing that has been added is the next command which is php artisan about and let me show you that also php artisan about and here it will show us everything about the laravel application the drivers also it will show us it will show us the cast whether they are cast or not and here the view is cast and other are not cast similarly the url and the psp version as well as the laravel version and so many other things but let's say you are a package developer then you can also add your information over here but now in order to show you i can easily do that from the app service provider as well so let me go here in the app service provider and here i'll add this about command and i have imported it over here about command the first thing is whatever that you want to pass and this thing will appear like this and the other are the data the platform is youtube and subscriber is 10k and we have finally reached 10k subscriber congratulations to you guys and me as well and thank you thank you thank you very much for subscribing and supporting me now let us look how does it look like so here if i just run that php artisan about then we can see that lara tips over here youtube and subscriber is 10k and every other things are there similarly like previous one we can also pass this json over here and if i just copy this thing and show you that over here then it will look like this